Wow, Dilek, this playground is amazing. Thank you, Kibena. We put it all together ourselves. Yourselves? All these sliders and swings? Yes, Baraka. Wow, maybe after we help you set up your Utu Club, you can help us create a playground like this in Kokotoa. Speaking of Utu Club, let's not forget why we're here. We're here to help Dilek and his friends start their Utu Club, Koba. We won't forget that. Good. Let's get started then. Dilek, call your friends. Playtime safety guidelines to follow. 1. Avoid wet playgrounds or wet equipment because you may slip and hurt yourself. 2. Do not push others while playing. Be kind to everyone playing. 3. Make sure your shoelaces are properly tied to avoid tripping and falling. 4. Wear the proper gear for the sport such as shoes with proper grip to avoid sliding and falling. 5. Walk and play several meters away from swings and slides when others are using them to avoid getting hit. 6. Make sure you have returned all playing equipment to the correct place before leaving. Dele, why do most kids here seem to ignore these guidelines? I mean, look at those two over there. They're pushing each other. And those kids on the slide, they're... <laughs> so you were silently reading those guidelines all this time? <laughs> Don't worry, Noro. It's not necessary to follow them today. Why not? Because coach isn't around. Coach? Yeah. Our coach is the one who supervises this playground. And she's the one who puts those guidelines there. So, there's no need to follow them today because she's not here. But Dilek, you should follow them regardless. Yeah, coach put them here for your safety. Exactly, because you're the ones who play here. Yes, but... Ah! My leg! My leg! It... it hurts! Ah. What happened to him? He slipped while trying to kick the ball. He slipped because the field is wet, right? Maybe. How can I play again tomorrow? If I get injured today? Tomorrow can be fun or sorrow Depends on how I play today No fun in hospital bed No fun in having a rap leg I wanna play again tomorrow So I'll follow safety guidelines today So it's important, 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 important To follow safety guidelines today I wanna play again tomorrow, so I'll follow safety guidelines today. Alright, stand up. Let's move you over there. I can't! I can't! It hurts so bad! Just try! Get up! Baraka, he can't. Maybe one of his joints is dislocated. Joints? Which joints? Maybe an ankle joint or a knee joint. I don't know. We have to do something. What are we going to do? What happened here? Coach? Honestly, you guys have really disappointed me. Before I left, you assured me that you would follow all the playtime safety guidelines. But now, look at what happened. One of you ended up in the hospital. We are really sorry, Coach. We promise we won't do it again. I forgive you, but after what you've done, I don't think I can trust you anymore. All right, you can all go home now. Dilek, I know you are not happy with what happened. What can we do to help? Yeah, what can we do? Will playing a game together make you happy? Uh, I don't know. We have disappointed Coach. She won't trust us again. The playground won't be fun if Coach does not trust us. We must find a way to make Coach trust you and your team again. But how can we do that? I don't know yet, but I believe if we work together on it, we can find a way. But I understand you, Baraka. The playground won't be fun if Coach does not trust you. Mother always tells me in Baraka that trust is the bones of friendship. She does. All the time. And I never really understood what that means. But it's true, you know. Trust is the bone of a friendship. So, what does it mean? Bones have a lot of importance in our bodies. Do you know any importance of bones in your body, Baraka? Yeah. Hmm. 
Uh, walking? Walking? Yeah, you got it right. But Dr. Alpha didn't put it like that. Who is Dr. Alpha? He's a doctor who treated me after the accident. He taught me a lot about different systems in the human body. One of them was the skeletal system. Skeletal system? What is that? The skeletal system is like the framework inside our bodies. Just like a building has a frame to hold it up, our bodies have a frame too. And that frame is made up of bones, right? Exactly. So, how did Dr. Alpha say it? Oh yeah, he said that bones help us move. Bones are not just for walking, they help us sit, stand, run, sleep, jump, and perform other movements. Is that why the injured kid couldn't stand up on his own after dislocating his knee joint? Exactly, because joints connect one part of the bone to another. So because this is the knee joint, that means the knee joint connects the lower leg to the upper leg, right? Yes, and when the knee joint is dislocated, it's really painful, making it hard to walk until it's put back in place. Mm. So when your mother says, trust the bonds of friendship, or family, or team, she means, without trust, friendship cannot move. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, I think you're correct, Nuru. Me too. You think? Thank you. But not only that, bones have many other benefits, but maybe we can discuss that later. Yeah, let's focus on how we can make coach trust us again. Let me ask you guys, what do you guys usually do when someone doesn't trust you anymore? I remember when one day we lied to our mother, telling her we were at home when we actually went out to play. When she found out, she said she won't trust us anymore. We then wrote a beautiful apology poem and asked her to trust us again. And she did. I remember when I lost trust in one of my friends at school before I moved to Kokotoa. I had to buy a gift and apologize to her, and she agreed to forgive me. So, Dilek, between buying a gift for Coach and writing her a poem, which one do you prefer? I think a gift would be a good idea. Great! So what does Coach like? She loves flowers. That's great, Dilek. But what if we buy her sports gear? Because she loves sports too. Yeah, sport gears would be perfect. But we don't have a sport gear shop inside the camp. But we have a very beautiful flower garden here. Hmm, it's beautiful. And colorful. It smells amazing too. Yeah. Let's find a perfect flower for coach. I like these yellow ones. Ah, it's so hard to choose. There are so many beautiful flowers here. Aw, look at this one, Baraka. Baraka, look. What? Ah, ai, a caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm that scary, huh? Look, Baraka. The caterpillar is talking to you. That's right. I'm talking to you, Baraka. I'm a friendly caterpillar. Why are you afraid of me? It's the way you are. Uh, and the way you move. The way I move? You mean like this? Yeah. And why do you look like that? I can ask you the same question. Why do you look like that? You don't have to answer. I'll tell you why. It's because your bones are shaped like that. Here is a fun fact from a fun fact caterpillar. Did you know that bones help give you the human shape you have? No, I didn't know that. No, you do! So, not having bones gives me my shape, just like how having bones gives you yours. Got it? Yes. That's one of the many important roles of bones in the human body. Another one is... To help us do movement like walking, jumping, and sitting. You're absolutely right! Also, to hold and protect various organs inside our body. Wow! You know that one too? Yeah. That's correct! Bones help support and protect the various organs in your bodies. Yes. For example, ribs protect the heart and lungs. The skull protects our brain. Impressive! Here's a fun fact from Fun Fact Caterpillar. 
You kids are the smartest I've ever met. Thank you, Caterpillar. But Caterpillar, you're not human. How do you know so much about the human body? I'm not just any caterpillar, Baraka. I'm a fun fact caterpillar. So I read lots of books to find fun facts and even to find songs like... Bones have many benefits in our bodies. Bones have many benefits in our bodies. Let's sing it together. Pick some flowers and go. What's up, Dilek? I've been thinking about what Koba and Baraka did to regain their mother's trust. You mean reading her an apology poem? Yes. I think it was a cool idea. I'm wondering if we could do that. But what about these flowers? We can do both. We can give her the flowers and read her an apology poem. I think that's a great idea. I have another idea. Since we're here to help you guys start an Utu club, what if we discuss it at your very first Utu Club meeting with everyone? I like that idea. We can even write the poem together with everyone. Yeah. All right, let's go. Coming. Hey, uh, um, what's going on? We brought you flowers, coach. Wow, they are beautiful. And they smell good too. Thank you, kids. Thank you, coach. But we have something else for you too. Mm-hmm. Dilek, go ahead. <clears throat> Trust is important. We now know that. Regretting for what we did. Forgiveness is what we need. Hope you can forgive us. Hope you can trust us. We promise to be trustworthy. Please, trust us again, coach. Oh, wow. Who wrote this poem? All of us. Wow. Maybe we should start a poetry club too. That was an amazing poem. Thank, Thank you, you coach. coach. Kids, I appreciate that you mentioned the importance of trust in your poem. That shows that you're aware of how much trust is important. I've received your apology and I believe I can trust you. Thank you, coach. We promise to follow the playtime safety guidelines even when you're not around. It's okay. I trust you now. And... What's that burning smell? Oh no! My food! Goodbye, kids! I have to go! See you tomorrow at the playground! Bye, coach! We did it! Yeah! yeah. We, we did, did it. it! Thank you so much, guys, for helping us start our own Utu Club. You're welcome, Delek. And remember, we'll let you know when we're ready for you to come and help us create a cool playground like yours. Okay. Bye. Bye, Bye Delek. Delek. <laughs>